Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. As you can see, we got our pickup sitting here at the dealership. Uh, we got a couple of items that we're going to be trading in um, on some other items. So, here's what we got. We got our bale trailer and our Brant auger. Um, so, I'll kind of tell you guys why we're trading these in and what we're getting. The bale trailer we're trading in because it does not work with the big bales um, I tested it out it does not work so we will be getting a flatbed trailer and we'll be basically stacking our bales completely by hand uh, is what we are going to be doing so that's why we we're trading this in we're gonna get a gooseneck trailer the Brant auger we're trading in on a uh, second second diac I think is how you say that um, it's an auger that for moving it around on its own makes a little more sense. It's a little more realistic. This one, it's got the motor which runs the auger. But you can move this one around by hand. Is it raining? Okay, I thought I heard it raining. Um, but, <clears throat> um, it doesn't really move. look right to be moving around by itself. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to sell that. And this thing is not quite in the trigger, is it? No. So we're just going to go ahead and fire this up. And make sure it's a little more in on the trigger here. Okay, we might have to just sell this one. Whoops, wrong button. We'll have to sell this one directly from here. So we got 14000 off of that one. And I missed how much we got off of the bale trailer. But, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to go over here to augers. So this is the auger that we're going to pick up. As you can see, it's got the wheels and the control for um, actually moving. So we're going to go ahead and pick this up. That's 10500 for that guy. And then we're going to go ahead and go over here to low loaders. Um, so we could get the prairie bale trailer, uh, which would work. We could go with this one. So we got that. We got the PJ. Um, we got the PJ trailer here with auto load, which we could do. And we could use that thing's auto load, I guess. Uh, we got this one as well. I don't really like the way that one looks. If it didn't have the ramps, it'd be a little better for a hay trailer. So, I mean, we could get... Or this Big Tex, we could get... Mm -hmm, let's wait for it to load. So, we got flat deck, extended deck. We got dual ramps, mega ramps. So, we could go with mega ramps. It's got an attacher. So, we got gooseneck. Or bumper pull. This trailer is really not all that big. Um, if we went with the PJ, we could use this. Yeah, we could go with the auto load one, which is not that one. That is this one. Um, you know, this one we can get it blacked out, which is kind of cool. Um, and we could use this to haul equipment as well, or we could just go with a regular old bale trailer. Um, let's go ahead, let's just pick up this guy. This one will work, whoops, I don't want to buy two of them. This guy will work a lot better for what we want here. Um, and we got to change our daytime, our day time here. Let's go back a couple hours because our equipment that we have for making hay does not work well in the dark. And, um, especially our Alice. So, and the nice thing too is this has, you know, it's got the straps on it. They don't really, okay, never mind. I was looking at it wrong. So it does have straps on it and stuff, which is nice. But, uh, so we're going to go ahead. We're just going to leave this stuff sit here and we're going to go ahead and we got to finish um, hey. cutting hay on this field. Um, 
I did get four passes around this field, so um, we do have that done already. Whoops, wrong button. Hmm. I'm gonna go grab one. I'm done. I've only got like 20 minutes. So if we find a way that long. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, so I did get four rounds around this done, so that way we could try and finish cutting this field. But, uh, this is probably going to be our last video of cutting hay. Because, I mean, if we don't get this field completely finished, it'll be more or less finished. So, um, another thing, too, our grinder... Uh, I'm going to be trading out. Uh, it's basically going to be the same, so if it's a different file name for it, um, I'm just going to basically go into the XML and just make it so it's that one sitting there in our shed instead of the one that we have. I'm not going to worry about hauling it to the dealership, selling it, buying a new one, that kind of thing. But um, the grinder we currently have does not work with big bales, but I do have a buddy who has a version of it uh, that works with big bales and he's gonna get that sent to me so I'm not sure if it's like the same file name um, and if it is it'll make things a lot easier it'll just replace it and then it'll just be sitting here um, you know whatever so um, but we'll get that version and then we'll be all set up and ready to run big bales because um, I did some testing on our bales on a different save game and um, tested them to see what would and wouldn't work and so that's what I found out <coughs> I mean there's nothing wrong with our current with our Brant auger it's just the second Dayak one uh, is a little more realistic with being able to move and stuff like that and it actually having the wheels whereas the Brant auger doesn't so it doesn't you know it's not as realistic and I want to try and get as realistic of a save game as I can on this one so that's what we're going for is realistic on this we're gonna try and get this finished um, hopefully we get enough fuel to uh, get this finished because we are we are getting low on fuel in this thing. But uh, we're going to try and get this field done and then we'll get this back to the farm, get it filled up with fuel, get it washed up, and then we'll get it put away. And uh, be good to go. And all we'll have left is we'll have a few videos of raking, a few videos of baling, a few videos of hauling, and stacking and whatnot. So when it comes down to that, we'll uh, we'll probably leave the eight or the 1086 that we got. We'll probably use that in the field, um, just because it's already out and about, or you know something. We'll have one of our loader tractors sitting in the field, and then we'll take one uh, to leave at home um, to unload. Well, and actually, with the trailer that we have. It'll unload itself because it just dumps them out, but um, I just want to be able to get them stacked right away so they don't start rolling and stuff like that or anything, you know, of that nature, um, and you know, become a bigger pain than anything. So I mean, this field shouldn't really take us too terribly long. I've already gotten a good few passes done and you know we're not even too far into the video we're not even too far into actual cutting time so
But uh, we're going to try and get as much done as we can, as quick as we can overall. Uh, I'm going to turn the HUD off. And I'll, okay, it's not going to lift up our header, which is good. So I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video, a little something different. Uh, just kind of showing you guys around uh, my work in progress map along with a couple of mod projects that I'm working on. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's video, make sure you go check it out uh, and go see what I got in the works uh, going on. Both, uh, I guess I can talk about it a little bit. I got, uh, we got a 78 Ford F-150 model that we got in the works. We got... Um, a nurse trailer that I'm going to be working on, a model from 15 that I'm going to work on and get it into 19. And um, then we got snowmobile trailer that I'm working on for somebody along with uh, my map. So So yeah, we're about halfway cut on this field already here, so we'll see. Maybe we can get the rest of this cut. We'll get this back, get it cleaned up, get it fueled up, get it put away, and then we can maybe see about getting our uh, hay trailer and our auger brought uh, to the farm. Get both of them put in the sheds right away. So hopefully we get a decent amount off of the rest of our fields because we definitely need all the hay that we can get. And like I had talked a few episodes back, we will probably be doing a second cutting of hay for sure. Possibly a third cutting if we need it and if we can get to it. Um, I'm not sure if you know we'll be able to get a third cutting if we need it. But I mean if if needed we can always just uh, buy hay I mean I would rather avoid buying hay but if we need to we always can this little swather definitely knocks it out pretty quick which is nice It's always good when we can get our work done quick. I mean, we've already got about three, a little over three hours on this machine just in cutting hay, so we're definitely, I mean, it, you know, three hours in game is a long time, but I mean, if it was only three hours in real life, that'd be ridiculous. Only spent three hours cutting hay. We might have to as well see about uh, getting... We might have to buy us a pallet of uh, net wrap. And then when we go to get the auger, we can probably just put it pick it up and put it into the back of the pickup uh, in the box and bring it to the farm and then we'll probably just throw it in our shop because uh, you know it'll be it'll be needed eventually especially because we'll be bailing a lot of straw between our corn stalks and our um, our uh, wheat straw, which who knows? We may not even need to bale our corn. We'll see. We'll just have to see how many bales we can get off of our wheat first. 
And then that'll kind of determine if we want to bale our corn or not. Which I am going to try that as well. Or uh, test that out on a separate save game. Make sure that we can actually even use corn stalk bales uh, for our cattle. If not, I'll probably have to go in and edit the... Um, um, our feedlot that we're using. I'll probably have to go edit that to work with uh, corn stalk bales. So that way we can actually use them because it'll be nice to be able to have that extra straw from our corn to be able to use for our cattle. So we got one more pass here. We still got about 13, 14 minutes before the timer goes off so we're we're actually doing pretty well here I would uh, have to say so we'll go ahead and grab a last pass of the first cutting screenshot alright we are done cutting hay for this round so let's go ahead and Let's get out of here. Be nice if there was a way in and out of here without having to go over our soybean field, but sadly there is not, so we're going to have to go over it anyways. Ooh. I'll try and go over as little of it as possible. Oh, come on. Are they sliding all over on me here? Let's drive right on through this guy's yard. Use his driveway to get out. Hopefully we don't meet any cars. If we don't, we'll be fine and dandy and good to go here. Otherwise we'll have to kind of jump out of the way. So we got that hay field sitting there. Wait, is this a hay field? Oh shoot! Okay, I guess we're not done cutting hay. We still got two fields over here that we can cut. I did not even realize that. How do I want to start this one? We'll just start it kind of the same way I started the last one. Are you serious? You're stuck? That's just ridiculous. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I uh, didn't realize that we still had two more fields here, so... So I guess we can... Uh, cut these two as well so we'll see maybe we can get this one knocked out yet in this video uh, I left a little more than I wanted to on that end but that's alright I guess yeah, I think I need to go in and remove the dynamic mud off of this map. Because a lot of this a lot of these pieces of equipment struggle to get in and out of that mud. And it just kind of makes it difficult to do anything when you have to go through it just to get to your field. But you can't get through it because nothing wants to go through it anyways.
So we're probably only gonna go around this field twice here. This is not a very big field, so we don't really need to go around it four times. So I guess I'll have to make sure that these are indeed our last two uh, hay fields that need to get cut. Alright, so we'll make it so that way it's like that for raking purposes. It'll be a lot easier to rake. Doing it like that. We'll just do a couple passes and we'll have her done. So, seeing uh, some of the news lately with FS, I see uh, Giants announced a new DLC coming uh, March 10th, the Burgol or Burgolt uh, DLC. Uh, gonna have some nice big planters with that DLC, a nice big harrow as well. I saw, um, and it's also bringing a 9RX, but uh, there's already quite a few 9RXs with. The ones custom modding made, or not quite a few, but there's already a good 9RX American. So for you know those of us that use custom moddings, you know American 9RX, we aren't really going to need that one because we already have a decent one that is American. But I mean it'll be something for those that don't have it and whatnot. But um, tie rod in. Uh, not sure. Ooh. Can't start on it, start a bolt on it? I'll even, uh, all you'd have to really do is just find a tap and die set and just rethread it. That would work too. But yeah, so um, they're also announced. They also announced that uh, they're opening a, oops, they're opening a uh, office here in the U.S. in I believe it was Chicago. So um, that'll be kind of neat. We'll have some American people working on the game and stuff. So that'll be kind of a nice thing to have. Uh, or to you know be able to have you know have some actual American people working on the game rather than just the European people for you know those of us American players and American users and stuff like that it'll make things kind of nicer for us because then we'll probably start seeing more US things you know for those of us versus everything being European I mean that that'll be kind of a nice thing to have for us. 
Uh, it'll definitely be a nice addition to uh, Farm Sim. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this one knocked out yet before we uh, call it a video. So let me go ahead and go in here and we'll stop that timer so it don't go off. This one will only take us a couple of minutes. That's all the other one really took us. So Let's get this one knocked out quick. And I'm pretty sure that this should actually be our last one for sure. But uh, we'll double check. Let's go ahead and actually do that right away here. So we own all of this area. Oops. Uh, let's get this up. So. Gee. Um, so there's these two hay fields here. We got that one which is cut. We got that one which is cut. This one's cut. These two are cut. And then we got that one cut. So yep, these are indeed our last two hay fields. Or well, this is our last one to cut. So, so we'll go ahead and get this knocked out quick. And then we'll get this guy taken back to the farm and get it uh, put away. And then we'll probably... We'll probably either we'll work on them in a different video, like in tomorrow's video or something, on getting our uh, to our trailer and our auger back and getting that thing in net wrap, or else uh, I'll just do it off camera. We'll see. I'll probably just do it in tomorrow's video though. a couple little bits there, but that's okay. We got one more pass and we'll be done with this one and then we can get on out of here and get this thing put away for the time being at least. At least until we uh, need it again if we do. What? Okay, now we can finally head on back to the farm with this guy. Now we finally have everything cut, so. Now we're good to go. And I believe, yep, I can see our Alice. I can see the uh, grapple bucket on the international sitting over there so we'll be jumping over to there in our next video a decent drive getting back to the farm so let's do something quick here um, let's go ahead and buy I don't know where it's gonna be if it's gonna be in Bailing I'm assuming that we have our net wrap no uh, oh it's gonna be under pallets here I'm sure yep 
Here it is. Pallet of net wrap. So I'll buy that for 500 bucks. And then, um, I know I just downloaded something for, um, this guy. I think, yeah. So we got this guy that we can pick up um, and put down at the farm so we can use this for, which I'm hoping I can move it as well, but um, we got this that we can put down here at the farm. This is not colliding with an object, what are you talking about? Um, where can we place it? Apparently nowhere. So I don't know if um just give me a minute. I know I'm telling you. Sadly we can't just place it inside. And what I don't know is I don't know if like I can move it once I place it. Which is what I'm hoping. Although I doubt it. Because we need something where we can repair our equipment. So we'll probably get this thing repaired right away too once we get it back to the farm. Yeah, we definitely need fuel. We're down to our last 56 uh, liters out of 300. I don't know what that would be in gallons, but... But we definitely need to uh, get it fueled up before it can be used again, that is for sure. Hmm? No? Yeah, if we ever farm anything back on that road, it will definitely be a pain to get to with that mud. I mean, it is kind of realistic, but at the same time, the giant, like, mods aren't really exactly set up to be able to get through mud. Like, even some of the four-wheel drive tractors I've got, they don't go through it just because of how they are. But I don't know, I mean, we can see... There's our wheat, looking good, getting close to harvest on that stuff, so. We're getting closer and closer to having everything ready to rock and roll. Our fields look pretty good. We don't got any weeds growing, at least in our wheat fields. Whoa, too much. Come on there, thing. Drive straight for me. So we're just about back to the farm here, and... Let me get this thing taken care of.
That's a pretty decent sized hay field there. Be nice to have that one. Both of them, I guess. Because the road's kind of splitting it. I think the next area of land I want to look at picking up is this hay field with uh, field 72 and I think 71 back on the other side of that tree row. Alright, there's our farm finally. Let's pull on into here. I still haven't gotten these uh, silo things fixed, so. Alright. Let me see here. Can I actually move this? No, I cannot. So that's kind of unfortunate because. That thing is going to be kind of in the dumbest spot ever to get into. But let's try it anyways here, I guess. Let's see, what are we going to do here? Do I got to do it in here. Huh. Apparently I can't do anything with it. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead, grab this, and let's get this thing cleaned up. Come on. So that is all clean. We'll get the swather all cleaned up. Alright, let's go throw it in a shed and uh, be done with it here. So we're probably going to stick this in front of our chopper. Let's make it easier to get that in and out. We don't have to go get anything special to pull anything out. But, I mean, we might be putting something in front of... We might throw the baler in front of this anyways, so... Alrighty, guys. That's going to do it for today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, make sure you... Turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for links to uh, for my PC specs, my upload schedule, all of my social medias, as well as links to um, some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.